Hello everyone, it's Sizzle Labs and this is Continuum. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day. I'm having a pretty amazing one myself. We're gonna back to this pretty cool pack here. Kind of just hammer things out. So yeah, we're gonna get right back to it here. And uh, I haven't done a lot in between episodes. I haven't done a ton. I did do a little bit of stuff here. I did kind of run around the countryside, I guess. And uh, I got some of these guys here. Well, I guess it's girls. Uh, queen bees. So I have them. They're pretty cool. They're actually from Pam's. They're not forestry bees. Uh, I don't see any of the trees here. I don't even know if they render from this distance. But I ran over there. I just broke like two or three of them. Actually, it was two because that's all I have. And uh, yeah, once you get them, you go ahead and you make some of these apiaries. So I have those going for me. Let's go to apiary. Check that out here. Super cheap. Just a couple wood, a couple item frames. You're good to go. Then you're also going to need a presser. So I went ahead and made one of them right here. So again, not a big deal. The whole point of these are you get these here, the wax combs. So when you put them in here, they just slowly start producing things. You can see here the bar is going down. I'm not sure what happens. I guess I'm going to see pretty soon um, what happens when the bar goes down. I don't know if one gets spit out into the inventory or if it just dies. I guess I guess I'm just going to see bad. Uh, you do get honey coves and bee grubs. The bee grubs don't seem to have a big use. <laughs> they seem to be used for as like a meat substitute or uh, they could be used to actually, I think, make the bees themselves. Yeah, right there. So bee grub and royal jelly that, but the royal jelly comes with bees, so I don't know, it's some kind of weird circle of life. Anyway, let's go ahead and grab some of these wax coves here. Grab all of them. We're going to throw those into the presser real quick. And uh, what that's going to do, you can see the bars go uh, across there. It's going to give us, I believe it's called press wax, I think. Yeah, press wax. Uh, we need uh, four of these right now. We're going to make ourselves a backpack, basically. It's going to let us make uh, hardened leather, which we actually need for a couple things I noticed. Uh, things like the slime sling, backpack. Slime sling, I noticed it here. Has something changed? I'm not going to make it today. Um, there's no slime boots in this pack, so I don't know if you don't need them anymore or if it's just been disabled in this pack. Uh, yeah, someone can let me know that. That'd be pretty cool. I just literally haven't tried, and like I said, I was gone for a month. I might have lost track of things and changes. Anyway, we need that, 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 and I believe we need a chest here. Uh, the main reason I want the backpack is we already have this one here, the Traveler's is it's just more storage space and expandable. We can actually make it bigger, right? Uh, this one can be used with filter and stuff, so it has its added bonuses. Uh, they're both good, so I guess that's what I'm trying to say here. I think it's that. If not, it's probably reversed. Would be the first or the last time I would do that. There we go. We got our basic backpack, which is pretty cool. And uh, we should be able to upgrade that right away. Uh, I forget what it is. It's like seven iron and something. Yeah, just another chest here. Let's grab another chest. Oh, got a little bit of lag there for no apparent reason. There we go. Give ourselves an iron one, and that's pretty cool. We could take that to a gold one as well, but uh, I really can't afford the gold right now. So, actually, I might be able to. I did do some more, a little bit more mining. Let's see here. I guess we could. Let's go ahead and do the gold one. Because <laughs> I think we're going to be in the ore doubling pretty soon. So, might as well. Let's kind of go ham. I just won't go to the diamond one yet, because uh, diamonds are still expensive, man. <laughs> I'm going to sleep here in a second, too, just so we don't have to deal with mobsters. Mobsters? Monsters is what I think I'm trying to say. <laughs> the mobster's going to show up out of nowhere and just uh, start hustling us for our money. But anyway, we got a good size backpack now. Got a good size inventory, which is pretty cool. I can take my stuff and throw it in there. Kind of grab it as I need it. Uh, the next quality of life thing I actually I want to work on here, as I usually like to work on the quality of life stuff at the start of the videos. Let's go here. And uh, make a couple of that. We're actually going to make ourselves some feral um, flare lanterns. And uh, they're pretty cool. They're kind of like torches, right? Um, except for the light slowly expands for them. And it doesn't have 16 radius. It'll actually go through walls. So even if you have nooks and crannies in your base, the light will just kind of bleed through. Get to the other side. Don't have to worry about it. And they're pretty cheap, relatively, for especially for what they do. Let's go ahead and grab that. And I'm probably just going to make about four right now. I'm going crazy with my gold. <laughs> Let's do that. And uh, I'll be able to replace all the torches in my base. I won't have to think about them anymore. I shouldn't have to worry about it. And uh, yeah, I don't have to look at the torch graveyard. Something I never enjoy looking at. I always found that Minecraft lighting, it's too sparse. You know what I mean? Like, a torch should go a little further without letting mobs spawn. You know what I mean? Just one of those things that's kind of always been... I just thought that... I think the numbers are too low myself. But uh, to each their own, right? Let's go ahead. Break a bunch of these torches. And, uh, yeah, as this gets dark, now you won't be able to see it right here. Well, maybe you will. Uh, if I hit... Oh, no, you can't see it right now. They're actually almost... Okay, those X's are going to slowly disappear. Because right now the light hasn't got to it. And like I said, it slowly expands. It kind of spreads around. It doesn't really make sense. The order does it. 
uh, yeah, it does do it. It is a thing, and uh, we won't have to worry about it anymore. So that's pretty cool. It'll even get things like top up here, so I don't even have to worry about it. So we'll get rid of that. That's pretty cool. And uh, what else do I want to work on? There was something else I wanted to do for quality of life, and it's kind of... Oh, excavator. Let's go ahead and work on that real quick, and actually talk about it real quick as well. So let's actually go in our quest book, take a look here, go to it's a whole new game. Go over here, you got here the excavator modifier. So this is excavate, so like in most packs, except for it's not the same at all, because you can only mine ores in clay with this modifier. So it's not going to work on stone, it's not going to work on wood, it's not going to work on any of those materials. So something to be very aware of, because it's not going to work the same which, you know, you are accustomed. So that's definitely something you want to be aware of. Oh, there was one more thing I want to work on now that I think of it. I want to get uh, a whole bunch of lapis, and there's a good easy way to do that, so we'll do that. I want to make a lens of colors. So we're going to go ahead and grab some black quartz as well. And do this. We could throw this puppy on the reconstructor. Something uh, someone pointed out to me in the last episode, too, because... Uh, I was looking at the recipe going, saying I need Certus, but we now have access to Nether Quartz. I didn't even notice this recipe over here. So when we go to make more Black Quartz, we can actually use Nether Quartz now, which is much more abundant. So that is pretty cool. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and make a lens here. This is actually from Ashley Editions, which is pretty awesome. And uh, we can take that and actually zap it. If you actually go to use on it, you can go to, you've got Lens of Disenchanting. Uh, you go here to the Reconstructor. Lens of Color, go to use of that. So you have all these different lenses you can use. The only one I'm really kind of interested in right now is the lens of color. So like I said, we're going to zap it. I can throw that on there. Actually, is our mandolin done? Eh, it's almost done. There we go. We'll get one of those done. Sweet. Might as well get that casted off. And then kind of get this all done at once. And then actually move on to some progression. All this stuff is progression too. This quality of life stuff really does make a difference in the long run. <laughs> Especially this one. I mean, it's not going to be beautiful, <laughs> because uh, you're not going to be able to kind of go insane and willy-nilly like you can in some packs, but this is meant to be a hard pack. You're not supposed to just excavate the world. I'm using the wrong table here. Let's go over there, and throw excavator on here. You'll notice when you put it on there, it says, you know, 5 of 25. You could just do one. I think it's like a percent chain chance thing of it actually spreading to the next block. I think it's how it works now, uh, from my understanding. I'm not 100%, but if we go down here and we hold the grave key, I think that's the default button. So hold the grave, or the tilt key, whatever you want to call it. You can see there, it just kind of mines it all at the same time, which is pretty awesome. It actually will speed things up a lot. <laughs> there we go. There you go. Sweet. And uh, yeah, I think if we want it to be able to spread more, we need more excavator on it. But honestly, for mining, that is not too bad at all. So that is pretty cool there. Next thing I want to work on, like I said, was the actually getting us some lapis here using the lens of color. You can actually use it to get ink sacks as well, which is pretty cool. But, uh, I'm going to grab this beetroot, and uh, this is what we're going to use to actually make a whole bunch of lapis. <laughs> uh, actually, additions make, uh, makes lapis so easy, it's kind of hilarious. But anyway, come over here. Now that we have that lens of color on there, we can just kind of throw that down. There we go, we got green dye. It just runs through the gambit. It kind of has a set kind of order progression. I noticed too, sometimes though, if you wait a while, then throw it down, it kind of jumps cycles in the progression of kind of the order that it normally does. So I, I really have no idea how the actual changing of the colors kind of works. <laughs> I've noticed it mainly when I'm doing like large batches of it. You'll throw on some, you know, five stacks, and all of a sudden the next stack goes to a different color. Makes no sense, man. But anyway, it doesn't matter. It'll get us the lapis we need. I'll be able to max out my fortune on my pick. And I should show you my picks and stuff too, because uh, I did work on them. But anyway, I'm going to max this out. This was the main reason for doing this. That'll actually max it out right there, right? Sweet. Probably going to do a bit on my sword too. I know a lot of people don't put uh, lock on their sword. They're all about the horse. But this sword, I mean, all the mobs in this pack are base from my understanding. So the sword I'm using right now kind of changed that. Um, yeah, hold control, right? Hold control to see the list. Uh, mandolin broadsword, so it's got mandolin. So that's good damage right there. And uh, it base damage, I guess, on this thing is 13. It was 13. I did add a little bit of quartz. So I got one quartz level. Also added a bone tool rod. So you can actually uh, one and a half damage for that. So, well, one and a half hearts, uh, I think. Yeah, three damage, one and a half hearts. And uh, silver wide guard, which actually adds another, what, five damage to... Uh, 
on Holy Mob, so zombies and stuff like that. But basically, smite. Also, the bronze tool rod gives you dense, which actually makes it so as the durability goes down on. Um, oh, sorry, that's the wrong tool. I'm on the wrong one now. <laughs> this is my pick. Uh, I did my pick as well, and that's what I was trying to get into. Uh, I, I changed out the copper for bronze and whatever else. I think I had iron uh, as well. Yeah, for the Ardite. The Ardite binding is pretty cool. It has pet armor. Every time you break stone, just regular stone, has a chance of consuming it and giving back five durability. And that works in conjunction pretty well with the bronze tool rod because that gives dense. And as the durability goes down on a pick, the lower it gets, the less chance it actually uses the durability on the pick, which should make this pick last pretty long. It makes it so I don't have to kind of spam as many of those uh, uh, cobalt sharpening picks to kind of keep them kind of, you know, good. This one here I just threw on cobalt, I think. It's the only thing I did. So yeah, that is my tools, and that's that. I think that's all of our quality life stuff, right? <laughs> that, this, that, and that. We're good, man. So yeah, let's kind of... I'm going to clean things up and uh, we'll get to, uh, you know, some actual progression here. And okay, let's take a look at what we're going to actually get to here. I guess first off, the first thing I should do is actually claim my quest because I actually get yelled at all the time when I don't grab them. People seem to get angry because I get wonderful things like cobblestone and uh, sandstone. Anyway, <laughs> let's throw those in there. Uh, I mean, stone's not bad, I guess. But anyway, let's go and uh, kind of see where we're going to head here. I don't want to touch anything up here. I'm going to assume that small ones are kind of optionals and that the big ones are kind of the way that want you go. You, you, I mean, in this pack, you don't technically have to follow the book. The book is just probably going to lead you in the way that they kind of planned you the head. You know what I mean? So, I mean, you don't have to go this way, but until like this here, until we kind of get open these ones here, I'm going to kind of follow the book. So I want to finish up this quest line. It's basically what I'm trying to say. So we're going to get to, I think, the uh, Quartz Grindstone first. Let's go ahead and grab that, because that's going to be our first ore doubling, which is pretty cool. It's not 100% ore doubling, but uh, it's pretty decent. Let's look at an ore here. You actually get a 75% chance uh, for the secondaries. So for doing things like gold and nickel, your more rare ores, it's going to be very useful. I don't think I'm going to sit there and do it for every iron, though, because it is very manual. But uh, we need a little bit of gear and a diamantine. So let's go ahead and get that done. Let's actually grab nine diamonds. We're just going to do nine because the recipe is actually cheaper. And, uh, we'll end up using that diamond seed at some point anyway. So let's do that. Uh, I think we only need... Oh no, we need uh, one more clay. Let's do that. Sweet. That'll handle that and that. And I think we need a light blue. Yeah, light blue dye for diamantine. Let's go ahead and grab that as well. I actually also need four aluminum. So let's go ahead and kind of grab that as well. Is that aluminum? There we go. Grab you. We get that. We'll get the gear going. So throw that in there. I also need to kind of, you know, combine up this into a block. Then zap it with the reconstructor. So we'll get that going. And then we'll make the empowered version with the empower. So that's pretty cool. So that is pretty awesome. There's our day empty. This is going to be the recipe that we need to actually make the empowered. If you actually go here, you'll see two clay, light blue, and a clay. Which is pretty awesome. So let's go downstairs, I suppose. It uh, actually used this puppy because we set it up yesterday. Didn't use it. You notice I had to pull the lens off too. Otherwise, uh, it doesn't work. Because I have sat there before for two minutes. Tried to figure out why my uh, <laughs> reconjunctor wasn't zapping stuff with the uh, lens of color on it. You get tired. You do you do silly things. But anyway, throw that on there. It's going to start draining power. It doesn't look like this one uses a ton. Well, it is drained. Oh, man. <laughs> I think I just wasted a bunch of power. <laughs> anyway, this thing is slow, but it's very efficient. And uh, we're not going to be using it uh, in a large enough amount, I think, at this point for it to really matter. So, anyway, let's go ahead and grab this because this is going to bother me. There we go. We've got a diamantine. Sweet, maybe? Sweet? I'd like some sweet. And uh, I just want to fill this in real quick. I know there's one empty block back there. That's going to drive some people crazy. Quite frankly, I'm okay with it. <laughs> as long as the mob gets them on there. Oh, get a couple more here. Making guys do the grunt work. But anyway, go upstairs. We've got our empowered diamantine. And uh, we just need to uh, basically just break this down like that. Sweet. And uh, I guess pour off a actual gear. So we'll get that done really quickly. Should have enough there. Pour that off. And uh, we'll have a grindstone, which is pretty cool. 
Because, uh, yeah, it's going to make it so things like gold go a lot further, right? So that's going to be awesome. Because uh, we'll get, what, 1.75. I guess that would be on our average if it's 75%, right? Per ore. So it's not really ore doubling. But I'm going to call it ore doubling probably in the title of the video. Because I'm not going to call it ore 1.75ing. Anyway, let's go over here. Let's grab our grindstone. Do that. And I guess we could need to crank as well. There we go. These cranks can break. But they typically only break if you try to automate them. Because <laughs> uh, they don't like that. Anyway, let's do that. Let's go ahead. They literally won't let you automate them. Is guess what I'm trying to say there. So I'm actually curious. I doubt it works. It doesn't work cobalt and stuff, does it? For some reason I remember that. No, it doesn't work with that stuff. Okay, cool. But uh, I can take stuff like gold. Throw it here. It's kind of hit the crank. It takes a little while. Eats up a little bit of your life. It's not meant to, you know, really be the end all be all. This thing really is from, like it says on it, AE2. It's really meant to make uh, quartz dust. That's really the main purpose for it. Anyway, see here, broke down two. Give us four pulverized gold. And like I said, I'll be able to use that for gold and nickel and make that stuff go a lot further. I won't be doing it for iron and stuff, that is for sure. Because, well, I enjoy, you know, doing other things in my life. <laughs> Let's go ahead, unload some of that stuff. And maybe claim that quest. See, whatever med <laughs> more cobblestone. <laughs> anyway, oh, it's weird strolling me. I doubt there's anything good to be here early on. I did already look at the recipe for the repair, and we're actually going to skip it right now. I would like to have it. Um, just so I didn't have to keep going in mine, um, cobalt to kind of repair my tools, but, uh, I need, um, more diamonds than I actually have right now. You can see here, there's 36 diamonds and we need another four right there. So that is just more than I can afford right now. I just not that diamond rich. And, uh, now that we have, uh, luck three on here, I think I'm pretty sure. Could someone verify that for me? I think luck three is 2.1% if I'm right in luck. Five takes the three percent, so it's like basically guarantees two diamonds. I think that's how that works. But anyway, let's go ahead. I, I just I can never keep those numbers straight in my head. But anyway, let's go and kind of see what else we're gonna do here. We have two other options here. One is sleep because uh, I don't want mobs to make it so I can't sleep because I might be going outside here in a second. Let's go ahead and do that. And uh, we have two options here. We can either get into tree juice, which is gonna get us into latex. Or we can get into agribusiness, which is a shipping bin in a way to get emeralds. And I don't know what we need emeralds for, but I'm assuming that because it's in the quest line here, we're going to need to do it. So uh, we don't have a lot of emeralds right now. I only have five, which is a little problematic. But uh, we can get them another way. We could trade for them with our villagers. But uh, I have been doing a little trading with villagers too. But uh, I'll cover that later on. Probably in another video. Uh, I want the market. There we go. I can use this to help us get the shipping bin because I did look at the shipping bin recipe and it's been modified. It's actually done on the Empower and it needs this stuff and I don't have any of it. So cactus fruit would come from an arid garden, which is one of the Pam's things, right? Those little gardens of the ground, you break them and you get random seeds. Uh, the seaweed, I can't remember which one it comes from. Kiwi, not sure either. Garlic is like a windy or another one. I've only found one of the gardens so far and I really haven't explored. I'd rather just buy the seeds. So, like I said, I'm just going to go ahead and use the market, which I think needs uh, wool, right? Let's do that. Let's grab you. I think it's four. I didn't check, too. I found this in a chest. Can we actually melt that down? I'm actually curious now. <laughs> Can I get bronze out of those? You can in some packs. Nope. Okay. I was hoping you'd get free bronze out of it. Anyway, let's go ahead and make ourselves one of them. Sweet. And actually look at the market here. The market's just going to let us buy seeds for emeralds, basically. So that is pretty cool. And we have enough emeralds. I found all my emeralds myself. Um, just beside the diamond ores. So you do find them. It just They kind of just spawn, like, literally touching the diamond ores. And someone told me that was actually kind of set up in this pack. Which is kind of cool. But anyway, we'll do that. Let's see here. Spinach seed. Kiwi. There's so many seeds in here. It actually takes a while <laughs> to find the ones you need. And they all look the same. Cactus fruit seed. There's what you need. Boom. You just go here. You buy it. And yeah, I got to do that three more times. There we go. I got my last seed here. We're just going to go ahead and grow these real quick. Should only take a second. These things usually don't take much bone meal. So not even going to bother. I could grind it down here. I think the bone meal, you get three by default. You grind it down, you get four. But it uh, really doesn't seem worthwhile to me. Not in a pack like this. Uh, let's go ahead. I guess we need a bucket of water, don't we? 
Oh, I have one. Even better. Let's go ahead. Yes, and uh, break the ground all willy dilly. <laughs> we'll do that. There we go. And uh, we basically just need one of each of these. Although the garlic I could use for recipes, quite a few recipes later on. So I don't feel like that's much of a waste. But uh, the rest, I can't seem to use it very much, to be honest. Let's go ahead. Let's do that. This will be a pack where I actually have to grow food, which is something I usually avoid. Unless I can find a loophole around it. You never know. Actually, I think I might know one. But anyway, let's go to move on. And, uh, kind of deal with that when we get there. Let's head out this way. And uh, yeah, I think I got everything. Let's go ahead. And uh, we still got to make the crate. So the shipping bin, it looks like it's just, hey, it's just an immersive storage crate. Usually you would just need the tree wood planks. But in this, you need the chest and the iron chest and the copper chest. Slightly larger chest than the chest made out of chest. It's just a big giant gambit here. Just, uh... <laughs> but anyway, we've got our wooden storage crate. This thing is a storage crate. When you break it, it holds its contents, which is pretty cool. But uh, we're not going to be using them for that at all. And they're way too expensive in this pack to be using them for that. So definitely something we won't be doing. Let's go here. I'm actually curious how expensive the crates are now. Uh, let's check that real quick. I bet they're super expensive in this pack. Yeah, iron plates, obsidian chest. Oh, geez. Yeah, that's a whole thing. They really don't want you to have storms in this pack. Let's go ahead, grab that, throw that in there. There we go. It's not a, ooh, it's a custom recipe, so it's not putting the beams of light. Although sometimes it does. I don't know what decides that. But at least we're getting the particle effects so of sometimes you don't even get that. But anyway, there's a shipping bin, and there's a quest, which is pretty cool. Yeah, uh, we should be able to get diamonds, uh, not diamonds, sorry, emeralds really easy now. Because basically what this thing does is allow you to trade uh, food. So grab something like these carrots or the wheat or whatever. And uh, as long as you find it in the list here, you should be able to sell it. Each stack equals one. So I should be able to just do that like that right there, right? Just get us emeralds as we need it whenever we need them. And, uh, for things like carrots and stuff, you end up with so much if you keep farming it anyway. But, uh, you really don't have a use for it. And uh, makes it pretty easy. Anyway, there's nine. That's pretty cool. Let's do one more. <laughs> there we go. Sweet. For some reason, I thought I might need one emerald, and I can't remember why. It doesn't really matter. Let's do that. Let's throw that stuff in there. And that actually handles that quest. And that is pretty cool. So let's claim that. There we go. I didn't... Oh, this was a quest, too. I didn't even notice that. Sweet. Let's go ahead. we got cooked pork drop, which is something I can actually use. And we got potatoes, because I don't have enough potatoes. <laughs> let's do that. Put that there. And uh, yeah, let's take a look at the next quest here. Next one we're going to get on, I think it's going to be tree juice. So let's look at the, um, what is that one called? Tree fluid extractor. This thing's used to make latex for industrial for going. Oh, there's our first emberatics. There we go. Let's see here. We're going to eat shears, lime dye. I, I can just do that with the uh, reconstructor again, right? I believe. I believe lime's in there. We'll see. And yeah, we'll need shears and that stuff. So let's go ahead and work on that. So we'll need a sapling. I might as well do a block. So let's go ahead and do a block of emeratic. Let's do right here. Sweet. Grab. Why'd I grab one emerald when I need nine? Put the wrong pile in the wrong places. The total derp. There we go. I think one was a slime, right? Slime ball, that, sapling, and I guess we just need a pair of shears. And I guess we can call that a day. Something I haven't need yet, actually, is shears. Sweet. And I guess we just need a piece of grass here. There we go. And that should be everything we need for the emeratic, so that is pretty cool. Handle that part of it real quick. What else was in there? Did I see invar? I did. Circuit board. That should be pretty easy. Let's just get this started, I guess, and then we can look. You, you. I didn't zap you. I have to go back upstairs like a derp. <laughs> I did get a couple under pearls and uh, make an elevator, actually, so I could just kind of teleport up and down. I would speed things up, coming up and down these stairs, especially if it becomes a regular everyday thing, which it probably will, because it's the only place I have room for, I guess, really uh, any kind of new machines or anything. Well, that's something else I want to get to today was actually my blast fire. I almost forgot about that. Oh, that's not right at all. <laughs> what am I missing? That, that, that. Oh, I totally derped. What is the missing component? Oh, the lime dye. Let's go uh, make some dye. <laughs> 
there we go. Got my lime dye now. I actually just used bone meal in the uh, reconstructor that time with the lens of color to get that. But, uh, I remember this one taking a fair amount of power, I think. Yeah, this one actually takes a fair amount. It's draining those stands pretty quickly, but uh, we should be fine either way. And uh, yeah, we'll get this goat here. What else did we need? Like I said, we need invar, some carper. What is that? Carper hardened clay insulated electron tube. That is a mouthful. Anyway, let's go ahead, grab that. Sweet. Invar is uh, nickel and iron, right? I guess we're going to figure that out real quick. Pretty sure it's nickel and iron, a one to one ratio. So let's actually just try it and see if it happens. Because, <laughs> uh, do we need one gear or two? We need two. So we would need is that. Ooh, my nickel's getting thin, man. Anyway, we'll do that. Get the gear started. Sweet. And we'll take a look at this other stuff. So we just need some wood. Oh, tell me it doesn't. Okay, any log wood. Just making sure it wasn't going to have to be fireproof. Uh, the carpenter's going to need some gold and redstone. So that's not too bad. It needs some of those copper electron tubes as well. So these ones. And there was some terracotta, isn't there? Isn't that a thing? I think we need enough for two recipes. So let's get that smelted up, I suppose. It's not going to smelt itself, right? Did I just somehow not craft that when I tried to craft that? So that is brilliant. Anyway, let's do that. Sweet. Uh, what else was I doing? I'm totally lost. Go back, take a quick look. So redstone gold. Redstone gold, and I think I just need some copper, probably. Uh, I moved my redstone. Let's do that. That's fine. Uh, we need a couple gold. Sweet. And I think copper. And that'll make it so we can make the electron tube. So I think we have everything we need. So we have... How many? Three of these. We only need one. I guess we only need five of those puppies in there. And the carpenter recipe. Let's see here. I could just shift click that in, right? Sweet. And it just needs a bucket of water. Also sweet. And that should start... Oh, it needs the stuff in there, right? It doesn't do it itself. <laughs> it doesn't do it for free, that's for sure. So that is pretty awesome. And uh, did I get enough in fire? Yes, but it wasn't uh wasn't the right ratio. So molten nickel. So it must be two extra nickel in there. Not enough in bar. <laughs> I think I need one more iron. Let's see. It must be uh two nickel to every iron? Is that right? No, that doesn't sound right at all. Let's actually look at Invar. So I can actually get the numbers right, I suppose. Invar right here. Go to alloying. Ah, I need one more iron. Okay, we got our copper electron tubes and uh, we got our intricate circuit board, so that's pretty cool. One thing I totally forgot, and I need to move this now that it's done. Oh, oops, right there, move that. Uh, this here, the thermionic, actually uses power <laughs> all the time to keep this going. So I think that actually burned through an entire stack of coal on me, kind of in between episodes. Totally forgot about that. So I'm gonna do that, and that should say, yeah, disable our redstone. And that should make it so this this bar doesn't keep trying to push itself up and cool it down, which is what happens. So, yeah, definitely a thing. So, yeah, we'll deal with that. And uh, you guys can't yell at me about that now. So let's go ahead and, uh, well, I guess I'm still doing brick. Uh, that, I'm going to do the blast furnace in a second. Grab this terracotta. And uh, I, this was the recipe here, wasn't it? I think it was. It was just this and that, right? Yes. It. Uh, we only needed two of those. So apparently I have enough of more. So apparently if we need more, we, need, we have it. Let's go here. Let's go to uh, tree fluid. There we go. Let's see what we need here. We have everything for the tree fluid. So that is pretty cool. And uh, this thing, all it does, makes latex. Nothing really special. Um, oh yeah, it, it does that annoying thing. I totally forgot about that. It gets placed down the way you face it. Because <laughs> it's like they're expecting you to place it at a tree and kind of place it at it. Because that's what it does. You put, a, say, a log in front of it. It actually just uh, pulls uh, liquid out of it. So we're going to do that in a second. Just need to kind of get it in a spot here. Where, you know, kind of makes sense. So let's gonna guess. Uh, I guess we're going to do this. Let's do that and that. Just so it faces the wrong way. Or wrong way. Right way. <laughs> I'll go back and fix that log later on. Not a big deal. But uh, yeah, grab that. Grab some of these here. Some actual just some oak wood. I guess we'll break that puppy. And uh, just place that there. And what that's going to do is just start, yeah, just uh, producing latex, which is pretty cool. I'm going to hold eight buckets. And uh, I think each log, I think it's 250 buckets. I don't know if it actually tells you. Uh, tree fluid. Cool thing about this mod, too, you don't actually have to get the book. It's kind of like actually additions, I think. 
You can just kind of access the book right here. It doesn't say the exact amount. Probably actually says on the actual machine now if we go to use. Looks like it. Nope. <laughs> it does not. Doesn't say the number. I think it is, uh, you can see here, it's just slowly breaking. You can see that little kind of couple little particle effects. It's just like you're breaking a log. It'll get bigger, 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 and then get destroyed. And uh, I thought it, it might be more than 250 millibuckets. Maybe it's a full bucket. It doesn't really matter that much. I mean, it's just a little bit of wood. But uh, in time, that's going to produce uh, latex. So that is pretty cool. And uh, what did, uh... okay, let's well, going to claim that. I didn't remember hearing the sound for the quest. So we have another one done there. That's cool. And that gave us actual uh, latex itself, which we probably won't use today. But uh, we will kind of move uh, moving forward. So that is definitely a thing. So that takes care of another quest. We have another one done, which is pretty cool. Uh, last one would have been the repair. But, uh, like I said, we're not going to get to that one today. I'm going to do some mining probably in between episodes. Mining's really not going to speed up until we get the um, tool forge. I really need a hammer. I really, uh, yeah, definitely need a hammer. I think of this pack, kind of speed that up. Something to get me through the uh, stone a lot quicker, right? Uh, why am I saying tool hammer? I want tool forge. See there. I haven't really looked at this. Steel plates. Blocks of zinc. Tech were born? I don't even know how to get zinc, man. <laughs> zinc dust. Industrial grinder. Oh, that's going to be coming from ores. Okay. Well, that's going to be something we get to in time. But uh, yeah, when it happens, it happens. So yeah, we already got a half bucket. So it looks like it probably is a full bucket for a uh, piece of wood, which isn't horrible. It might be less. I guess we'll find out in time. Doesn't really matter that much. Oh, one thing too, the bees. <laughs> I want to check them real quick. You actually do get a queen bee back, so you can't just kind of throw that there. I don't know what happens if it's full though. So yeah, something you might want to be aware of. Be a little careful of. But, uh, you do get your bee back and just cycle them through. And uh, that is the thing. This pack does have bees. That is something to be aware of. But I'm going to go for the minimal B approach uh, on the pack. So it's going to be kind of the way I kind of approach it. And uh, I think bees would be pretty pow powerful in this pack, to be honest. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. I think I'm going to go for the minimal B approach. Because I know a lot of people get bored of that real quick. And uh, I do myself. I am just I, I don't mind a little bit of bees. I don't like a massive ton of it. Uh, the last thing I want to get to probably is the blast furnace. Let's go ahead and uh, see if uh, the brick is done. Another brick is done. We're going to need some of this. I think we're going to need... How many do you get per... I can't remember. If I just was to craft that. Two. And can I grind that? Does not look like it. No grindstone. So we're going to have to do it this way. Uh, we need, what, 14 I think it is? So uh, I think we're going to need 28. We need enough for four, uh, seven recipes. So yeah, let's kind of make sure we don't overdo it. That way I don't have to spend all my time kind of just farming blazes. Uh, I can do the blazes. Yesterday I had a problem with the blazes. Uh, it wasn't, uh, I guess it wasn't really a problem. It was uh, <laughs> just the mechanics, right? Um, I'm going to be able to, oh, that wasn't enough. I need nine recipes. Seven. Yeah, I need two more recipes, man. Is that right? Yeah, two more recipes. What am I even thinking? Uh, I, I'll be able to use diamond spikes later on in the pack, so I just don't have the diamonds yet. Once I have the diamonds, I will do that. And, uh, that'll be definitely a thing. Uh, I'm going to need... I did do more of that, didn't I? Grab that jazz. Yeah, I got enough. Okay. Looks like I did math it out. I think I did that last time I did that in a pack, too. I just made seven recipes for no apparent reason. You know, it's definitely nine. Let's do that. Let's grab you. Sweet. And, uh, I'm just happy it's not like the old days where you always had one left over because of the way the recipe worked. <laughs> they used to drive me crazy. Let's go. Something like that. We're going to just throw it up here. So uh, we just need to multi block this thing. And I thought, yeah, I was just going to kind of throw it up here, kind of in this wall here. Probably cover that empty space at the top. Or not. Actually, if I leave it that way, I'll be able to uh, upgrade it. So later on to the improved version. I think there's an approved coke oven now too, actually. But I haven't really got to it. But uh, we're gonna grab that. Do that right there. Engineer's hammer. Got really hot topic. Should be able to throw a coke coke in there, which is pretty cool. And uh, start the creation of steel, because that's gonna be something we definitely need kind of move forward uh, through the mod. Uh, immersive's in here, so we're gonna need probably a fair amount of steel. And uh, kind of just kind of deal with it as it comes. Let's grab the rest of that coke coke. Gonna have to get a bunch more of that going, obviously. So that is something as well. Do that, that, and that's going to slowly, over time, just make a steel, which is actually pretty fantastic in itself. So, yeah, this is still going. 
Wow, you get a lot of latex. I don't. They must have changed this numbers. When Industrial Foregoing first came out, I don't think it gave you this much. I think they changed their numbers. Uh, I don't. What was the pack? I think it was Horizons that I first touched this in. Uh, yeah, it definitely wasn't that much. Huh, cool. I'm fine with it anyway. I need to find a way. I haven't really looked at that yet. That is another issue in this pack. What do we have for fluid voids? Because I don't know what to do with all this creosote, to be honest. I mean, I can keep making uh, just, uh, you know, treated wood, I guess. But uh, I, I really don't know what I'm going to do with all the treated wood. And every time I do, it's just kind of a mechanic, right? I'd almost need an e-fab right here. I'm just kind of thinking of ways of dealing with it. Uh, and I don't see a void. Usually I just void it off, right? It's usually be kind of the route I would go. But I don't see any easy voids in this pack. Another thing is I don't see another easy placer. If anyone knows an easy placer in this pack, a uh, nice cheap one. Because uh, the placer, I was kind of looking for the wood to kind of be able to just automatically place it, right? And then kind of deal with that way would be this one here. And I don't see any of the other block placers or anything like that. So I haven't been able to hunt that down. I may just kind of, you know, kind of scrounge through all the mods uh, in between episodes. Kind of look at that. See if we can find anything here as well. Because, uh, yeah, we don't even have void pipes or anything like that. I'm not seeing anything, man. Oh, trash can. Do we have the fluid trash can? Oh, we do. So I just need uh, some kind of piping. Well, we're probably not going to do that today. But I guess we could do the fluid lasers, right? From Ashley Editions. Yeah, see, that's doable. It's expensive. Uh, I guess it's not. It's four. It does take nickel, though, so it is a little bit of work. But, uh, yeah, definitely an option. I'd be able to pull... Oh, steel actually goes... That seemed pretty fast. Uh, yeah, pull the liquid straight from here into a fluid trash can. That should work, as long as the lasers recognize the trash can. But anyway, I think I'm going to probably end this one here. I think we did pretty good. We got pretty good progression today. So, yeah. As always, if you guys like this video, please hit that like button. If you really liked it, hit the subscribe button. It is always appreciated. Well, you guys all have a good one. I'll see you guys next video. Later.